Welcome back. Hi, welcome back to the uh, Dan Tournament videos. This is uh, Lord Marshall and I'm Lord Dispenser. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to do some uh, basic training techniques that we use. Um, you can use them if you want, you can pick tips off them, whatever, but this, this is how we do it. Um, first of all, we're going to just do placing blows. So this is just building that muscle memory to get the sword blows to hit where you're aiming. Um, and you're aiming for the target areas that we mentioned in the previous video, but you'll see where, where we're aiming for as we go along. Um, so, I'm going to start. So the, so the argument with this is, even if we discuss this off camera, if you don't do the tournament, we're hoping to push uh, safety. Yeah. More than anything else. So it would improve your sword skill, your safety aspect, and this is all these training videos are ready for to build a muscle memory and a bit of stamina. So I'll shut up now. <laughs> so that's not bad. Okay. <laughs> so, first of all, distance of attack. Check your distance of attack. Make sure you tip can pass his body. The tip's the most dangerous part. If you're too far away, your tip can strike his face or down his body. Check your distance. Get in whatever fight position you prefer to do. Some people stand square and attack, some people stand leading foot, some people stand trailing foot. It's however you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way. Um, what you're aiming for is to hit what you're, aim, what, what you're aiming for. So, placing blows. All we're doing is bringing the attacks in, placing blows in a nice controlled way. Onto the head. Next, upper arm. Facing blows. Try not to look where you're aiming. Always keep your focus on his head and his shoulders. So you're, I'm basically looking at his nose. And I'm using my peripheral vision to guide my arm and use my muscle memory and body mechanics. So upper leg. Downward strike, five attacks, and then lower leg. What we tend to do is come back up on the back swing, just to give your legs a good workout as well. Now what I'm doing, even though I don't think just stood here being hit, which I am, I'm actually letting, I would let the Spencer know if the blow was too high or too low, so it was too near, especially on the knee, too near the knee or the ankle, and on the arm, if it's too close to the elbow, or it's too high up on the shoulder. Finish off, cross. And now, that's if you're, your if you're out of protect or an area protecting muscle, <laughs> that yeah. is worth tensing. But you should be aiming for the same spot all the time. If you've got belts on, we can aim for the belt buckle. Yeah. Or what we sometimes do, we put a gauntlet in front and they aim for the back of the, the gauntlet. Yeah. So that's, sorry. Do that, that was placing yeah. blows. The next stage on from that um, is your opponent placing blows on you, and you monitor his blows, um, and then you can go backward and forward as many times as you like um, until your arms get tired. And the left hand as well. Yeah. So what you can do then, I would go around the body placing the blows. Now, like. My Lord is trying to say you can stand on guard. I tend to, when I'm training, like to stand like that and swing in. But then, once you've gone around the body, you do it again, and then that person gets to practice their blocks. So imagine I've gone around Lord Spencer's body, it's his turn again to attack me. But this time, I get the block. Now I can stand here like that, or I can stand on guard. For video 
it's probably easier for you to stand on guard. So again, you want to switch this to the run body for attack. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you later.